Stay black in America. Don't leave, don't go anywhere. Greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. You can achieve anything you want to achieve here. Black people living in the United States, the continent of the United States, I'll have the 15th greatest economy in the world, and America is the number one greatest economy in the world. You can achieve, you can become anything you want to come. You just need to ask that next question. You need to know that next person. You need to come up with that next idea. Um, just the country to do it. Make your dreams come true. You, you can pursue your happiness here. We'll talk about fear. An unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous, likely to cause pain. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's a pretty good definition of fear, right? <laughs> fear. Fear and caution are different. Fear refuses to embrace opportunity. Caution seeks validation of feelings. Fear is a very tiny thing that gets magnified. Fear no fool, rather fear not discerning him soon enough. Fear of women has never kept a husband faithful. Fear of God has kept a husband faithful. Fear is not the greatest enemy. Deception is the greatest enemy. Fear no question. Fear the unwillingness to accept the answer. Fear should simply inspire more research. Dear daughter, what is the proof that he makes good decisions? Does his history unleash your hope or fear? Jealousy is the fear of being unimportant to someone important to you. My two greatest fears, fearing of believing a lie, deception, Fear of not fully understanding how to love. You know. Some fear Catholics, some fear Muslims, some fear losing votes. The wise fear God. What you hear decides what you fear. Faith cometh by hearing, so does doubt. So does doubt. You doubt things by hearing stuff too, right? Where there is negotiations going on, there is fear. Where there is fear, there is no love. So, fear, man. You know, you can fear that your house is going might be broken into. So that fear causes you to put alarm system, put bars up, maybe get a, a guard dog. Um, the fear of living in an area maybe where there's hurricanes and earthquakes and, and fire things might give you the desire to beef up your insurance, take out a bigger insurance policy so you can recover from a, a serious loss. Uh, fear. Fear might cause some people to lose weight because the doctor says, oh, your cholesterol is high. You need to drop some weight so your numbers can go down. So, so fear might cause you to, to jump down. A doctor might tell you, oh, if you keep smoking, man, it's gonna, you got all kinds of health conditions, uh, it's gonna affect your breathing, and uh, you know, you can be more susceptible to this COVID-19. So fear might cause you to stop smoking. Well, the fear of God will cause you to accept your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, you know, as your Savior, repent of your sins, because you know, truly, if you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, repent of your sins, you're going to heaven. If you don't accept him as your Lord and Savior, then you're going to hell. So that fear alone should drive you into salvation. But uh, it seems not to be the case because the, the punishment of pain does not come right away. It's a delayed payment, like the delayed payment it is for the, the angels and Lucifer that were cast out of heaven. They have a delayed pain because they know it's coming. They just don't exactly know when. <laughs> not even angels in heaven know when, right? So fear. Some people fear COVID-19, so they got they got these masks, man. These uh, these these KN95, so you can you know try to avoid breathing around people and, and it help you with, with air. They got a uh, disinfectant, so you can put this on your hands. It might touch surfaces that cause might have germs on it. Or you can Clorox. 
great thing to clean with. You know, you can clean all kinds of germs, kill everything with Clorox. So Clorox is a, is a super thing, right? You got a, you got hand stuff, right? And you want to protect your hands. Put something on like this, so you touching surfaces. You you might not have to use this as much because you got they got the gloves to protect you, right? So you know that's your fear of the COVID-19. But you know everybody's got to breathe. Uh, it's probably airborne. It's in the air, so you got to breathe. Even if you got a, a mask on, oxygen got to come in there so you can breathe, or you'll just fall out. So. I think you gotta trust in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You gotta trust in the one God, the true God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God that the Jewish people, you know, worship, the real God. You know, so uh, Jewish Jewish came through the Jewish line, so uh, everybody's believing all kind of stuff. But uh, I think you better trust in the real God, the God that parted the Red Sea, the God that caused manna to come down from heaven, the God that bore Jesus Christ, who raised the dead, who fed the hungry. Who killed all manner of afflictions, the lepers, the all kind of stuff you can think about. I think you need to go that way because enough evidence has been shown and given to you that, you know, this is the way, the truth, the light. So you don't want to see the light, you want to stay in darkness, you keep the candle put under the bed instead of on top of the, the lamp stool, right? So some people fear, some people fear this. Got shades on. They fear, man, shades. They can't see a person's eyes, so they feel fearful, you know? Some people fear big man, a big man looking down at you like that, I mean, eyes like that. that might put fear in some people, right? So, fear is a, fear is a strange but, but real thing. Fear sometimes causes you to prepare for it. Because if you prepare for certain things, you're no longer afraid of them. You know, if you drive in a car, you, you put your seatbelt on. So you have some kind of minor thing you know, it protect you from falling out the window, hitting your head against the windshield. Some things were, were created to take away a lot of fear. Some people fear guns. Well, if you handle a gun long enough, and you practice one long enough, and you use a safety, you no longer fear the gun. You, the gun is, it might be a, a weapon which you use if you're going to go hunting or use to protect yourself in your, in your environment. So fear, man, you got to conquer that fear. But some fear is very important because the fear of God, it says the, the beginning of wisdom is the fear of God. So, fear God is the beginning of wisdom. So, fear in a way uh, prevents us from folly and getting hurt, and causing things to happen to us we, which we wouldn't want to happen to us. So, fear is a crucial and a very important thing, you know. So, uh, you know, stay black in America, don't go anywhere. Greatest country in the world for a black man or black woman. Don't fear what's going on here. Correct it, make it something better. Some people fear they're going to die or get, get killed or something by the police, you know. Change your attitude, change the way you move, change the circles you go, change the different people you talk to, change what you do, and relieve yourself of the fear. Stay black in America, don't go anywhere in the greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman, everybody from the dice is trying to come in. Subscribe to my channel.